Yep. One. Go. One. Go. Five point two five six feet. Go. Again. Seven point four five six feet. Uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing. Where are you going with this? Uh, Come on. Uh, you're going. Across. You're going across. I know. I can't touch it. <laughs> All right, so here we are with our Angry Dog prototype of our catapult launcher. We have a nice wood frame that we've mocked up, and you can see we got a lot of adjustability in it. So you can adjust height and angle. Um, we're powering it quick with a pneumatic cylinder off of our proto board. And you can see here, our ball will sit here, and then this lifts up with the pneumatic, and on a nice 45 degree backstop, ball goes flying. So we made it out of our C channel so that we can prototype different cradles, different cradle positions, a, having a, a top end stop or not. Um, and also by varying the angle of, of our legs, we can play with our settle angle and also our release angle. Right now we have a, a start position of about, you know, basically flat zero and then a firing of 45. Okay, so right now what we're doing is we're playing with some uh, some different cylinder geometry and different cylinder sizes to power our catapult. Um, the first test that we did wasn't quite powerful enough. The ball didn't go as far as we wanted. Um, so we've changed our angle of attack with the cylinder um, and its mounting position and uh, pretty much we're just going to see if it fires. That was way more up. So that wasn't far enough either. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to double up with another cylinder. Basically, if it doesn't work, get a bigger hammer. That's what we're going to do. Three, two, one. Okay. Now How much? Two, one. That's getting closer. Yeah. Bear with me. Yeah. One. Uh, so we've kind of run into a snag with our catapult tester. We're not getting the distance out of it that we want. So Nick and Mark are over trying to add more cylinders, more smaller cylinders to it because uh, we're not getting enough flow through each of the valves. So if we run more cylinders, that means each one gets its own valve. We can get a higher throughput. Um, so they're working on that. Meanwhile, I'm going to start working on trying to take it in a little bit different direction using a surgical tubing powered you know, power source, uh, which is going to need a winch drive to kind of help reload that. So that's what I'm working on here. Yeah. <laughs> 